What's going on YouTube? Today we have a 1999 Toyota 4Runner and we are changing the injectors. So I'm in the middle of this job right here. But first thing you gotta do, you gotta remove your intake housing. So your intake housing basically sits on here and goes inside the throttle. You remove the clamp, you remove the vacuum, mass airflow sensor that connects right here. You're gonna have a vacuum that connects right here. And then you got this clamp, you have to um, loosen up and then you pull it out. So initially, how I wanted to do this job. So the proper way of doing this job is the injectors are right here, right? And the proper way of doing this is to remove the throttle, right? I've already tried removing the throttle, but I have a connector in a um, vacuum underneath there. That is so annoying to remove in which I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just change the throttle gasket um, this like this and then just leave it here and then see if I could try to change the injectors without removing the, 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 the throttle body. So what I basically did was I took a 12 millimeter Hold on, let's get them focused, 12 millimeter. And you will have two bolts, one here, and then the other one is back here. Crack them loose. And then you're gonna take some pliers. You're going to move back this clamp that goes into this, I know the name of it, but I can't remember it from the top of my head. But it's the return gas return line. You're supposed to remove it out. Um, also disconnect this. This will be connected to the throttle. Um, you disconnect that. And then now you will have access into, um, well, first and second injector. And then the third and fourth is gonna be difficult, but I'm gonna do this one by one. And all four of them are, are, are cooked or they're done for. The car is not starting. You got the connector right here that goes into the injector. Squeeze it, pull it out, and then you have access to the injectors. All right, so this is the oil injector. This is the oil injector. So I can see this is this is the original. This is our 1999, so this has been here for a long time. Okay, you just twist it, twist it, pull it out. Um, Right, this is the new injector, nice and pretty. And we're, we're going to insert it into the hole. Okay, we got it in the hole. Now we're going to see if we can take out Injector number two. Let me move this back here. All right, so we got injector number two. Okay, I'm gonna just squeeze the bottom of this. Disconnected. Got the old one. Okay, you got the old one. This is so rusty. Then we're gonna get a new one. All right. Injector number two, we're going to lift this up a little bit, put it in. Okay, I'm not going to connect it as of yet. i got to make sure it um, sits in place. All right, now I need to find a way to get to injector number three. All right, so you got injector number three. You got it disconnected, and we are pulling it out. All right, let's go. Check the number three, and then we're gonna put a new one. New injector, 
and then we're gonna try to put it back in the hole. Okay, I'm gonna use my camera to guide me. All right, so what I did was I took a 17 millimeter to remove this whole gas arm line so I can get injector number four out. All right, so we're gonna tighten that um, gas line. Okay, we got all the injectors in their place and connected. And then we're gonna sit it the right way. All right, so we're just tightening the gas line in place. back one all right so now I'm putting the gas line back okay right we're gonna put back the clamp Make sure everything is good. Make sure all the protectors are connected. 